Yeah, it's finally home. Uh, finally got the Honda here in the shop. I think it matches here pretty nicely. Fits in there just right. I mean, yeah, it's kind of crooked because it was on a jack, but it fell. I was scared if I... Uh, I was going to try to run it and put it in gear, you know, and I was scared it might drive off when I did it, so it's kind of stupid of me anyway because it has front wheel drive too. It's all wheel drive. It wouldn't have mattered if I had jack stand up or not. But, uh, yeah, I've been working on it. As you can see, there's a big gaping hole here of where parts should be. Now, there's their box. And for some reason, the previous owner had a K&N air filter on there, which I think is quite a nice touch. But uh, when I was working on it, I managed to break off one of the little heads that hold up the float. So this carburetor is junk. Plus, I had to drill out the needle valve because it was stuck in place. Uh, yeah, so this is the same guy I got the lawnmower from. And he also had a B&M shifter knob on a lawnmower. This guy likes to put expensive parts on stuff that don't deserve it. Now, I do love the four, so it might have deserved it, but I don't really think it did. Uh, I ordered a sticker for it because uh, I like the sticker I saw, and it still hasn't came in. It's been a week and a half. Uh, Timothy's go-karts at his house, he made it, got it running and drove it home. And broke the belt twice. Uh, one thing we did get was a new lawnmower. Weird. I've never owned anything new in my whole life that had a motor. So that's kind of a new experience for me. Uh, we did get the dune buggy. I know the shop's kind of trashy right now. It's because I haven't been able to haul off scrap. Because uh, the Honda don't have a ball hitch. So I couldn't haul anything. By the way, this is the Honda I'm always driving. It's not mine, but it's the family Honda, my grandma, grandparents. And they don't drive it because it's meant for the kids. And I'm the only kid that actually stays here full time. The other kids are here for a week and then they leave for a week. So I'm the only ones, when they're gone, this is pretty much my four-wheeler and Aunt Rachel's. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty nice go-kart. Supposedly it costs fourteen hundred dollars new. I think somebody got a rip off, but hey, uh, we still have the black cart. Uh, it's done okay. It's seen better days. It won't run. I think something's wrong with the carburetor. Cause you can put fuel, pour fuel down the carburetor and it'll crank up, but else than that it will not. If you have watched me for a little, give it a little bit of time, you do know that I have rearranged the shop. It's because it leaks at the back and mainly on the right but sometimes on the left so when I rearranged it this part and that part and that don't leak so my desk and my shelves stay dry uh, and when the floor floods I have a pallet on the floor that holds up my chair so when it floods I still have a good little bit of off the ground and just sitting here and I'll be fine while it rains uh, I do have this little wall here it's mainly because I want some wall considering the four wheelers the only thing that's going to be in here and this part is all uh, useless space to park something so I decided to put this wall here so when rain comes in this way it doesn't hit me. Sometimes the roof will reek when it gets really bad but you can see my duct tape job is obviously working. Uh, that leaks too but I ain't in the way of that. Uh, that one does too but oh well it's, just, it's a homemade shop it'll last. Timothy shop is very empty at this moment because he took everything home with his. So I have now used it as a storage shed to hold my lawnmower. Oh well. Uh, yeah, the shop is kind of dirty because it's been raining for like a week straight and then it finally quit. But I wasn't here while I was quit. I worked all the time that it quit. Got this here. Good four wheeler. I do have the key to it. It's just not in it. I keep it inside. I did get it to run. Uh, I poured fuel down the carburetor, or down, I took the air breather off and I poured fuel on it. I got it to run for about five seconds. 
uh, the battery's dead, so I had to pull start it, and you would not believe the compression on this four-wheeler. That's why I say that the jug's not bad, because the compression is amazing. Oh. Even my cousin Timothy had problems pulling it over. So, I think it's just a set of bad oil rings on the piston, which seems to be what everybody else thinks too. It's not a bent valve, it's not the piston or jug. There's, it seems to be the only conclusion that really fits the problem. So, it shouldn't take long to fix this bike. I'll probably just keep driving a little bit, not much, but driving anyway with the bad rings. Uh, yeah. Really nice bike for what it is. Ain't got too many scratches on it. Looks like it was pretty low hours, but it did have a rough life of them very low hours. It was blown up three times. Top end rebuilt. So, yeah, even for them little short hours, it did get had its fair share of problems. But it's a Honda. It'll last me.